I think one of the big things to, to keep in mind about metadata is that it's important to use um, it's important to use standard encoding. It that will allow for that metadata to be to be captured, to be preserved, uh, to be reused and, and made interoperable, so that it can be you know easily moved between systems. So you know we talk about you know say a, a researcher has uh, this homegrown system that they have their data in and at some point they want to move that to something else, it's going to be very hard to do that when you know the, the data won't necessarily match up between the systems. This is a common problem with migrating from any platform to an, a newer platform. Having a standard approach to how you encode that information, uh, one that is accepted and, and you know, understood by other practitioners in that area, can help enable you know, the reuse and, and the movement of that metadata over time. Uh, also, um, it's important to keep in mind that metadata itself is data. You know, say an, an audio file that's, that's capturing some aspect of your research, if you don't preserve the metadata that describes what that audio file is over time, it might be hard 10, 20 years down the road to understand what that object is if a researcher comes across it. Um, or to identify what that is. And so we need to take good practices with how we store our metadata as well. I see this all the time. You know, I get disks like this that I will plug into my machine, and my machine won't know what format a file is on there. It won't be able to recognize it. I can run it through uh, a format registry that documents like thousands of formats, and it still might not recognize that format. And it's just because it's obsolete or it was very specialized at the time and not many people used it. And so it's a complete mystery now what file that is, what kind of file it is, and what software it takes to render it. So uh, preservation metadata can help document certain things about the digital objects that were created, about the data that was created, about how it was managed, uh, about the tools used to create it and render it. Uh, that you want to keep attached to that object over time so that you have a better chance of rendering it later.